<laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, I'm back at it with another unboxing. Obviously, this isn't a beauty influencer channel or an influencer channel or a real channel or a channel anybody should watch. So I'll get to the book in a minute. But first, you may not have asked, why am I wearing a winter jacket in my own home? And I'll, I'll tell you, even though you didn't ask. Um, it's not because uh, I finally ran out of money and couldn't pay for the heating. No, no, it's something much more mundane. The furnace just took a shit on me last night, that's all. It's freezing in my house. It's like 49 degrees in my house. So I, uh, I did what everybody does, and I unbox a book to stay warm. It just makes sense. It's just logic. This is actually a special one. I couldn't put it off any longer, considering I bought this book four years and eight months ago. Four years and eight months ago. It was June 20th of 2016. And, you know, I mean, everybody realized, oh, that was 2016. But to give you a frame of reference of how long that is, that was a five months before Trump got elected. That was a whole year before I got my first Nocturnal Reader's Box. It was actually a year and eight months before I knew Suntup existed. When they announced Misery in February of 2018. So that gives you a sense, that gives you a sense of the time that has passed uh, since I paid for this book. I'm really itching to get to it. It's uh, The Night Shift, it's the next book in the Double Day Years, and uh, Cemetery Dance just knocks it out of the park with these editions. But before we do that, let's get to the Magic Duff Bucket and see what he's got. What do you got for me? A coffee, thank you. Coffee's warm, coffee's warm. We need to get warm on the inside. I get a lot of grief because I leave my spoon in. I drink my coffee and I, I, I like to continually stir because I don't believe I got all the sugar off the bottom. And my spoon's a skull, so rock on. So let's get to it. <clears throat> Night shift. And this is the artist edition and I got a remark in it. I was a little crazy back in the day. Back in the day, ba way back in the day. Seriously, 2016. Yep. So you can see how I wasn't going to wait till the, he came back on to do this book. Wasn't going to do it. Oh. We're going to get uh, that paper out of the way. Holy shift! I was holding that one back. I, I didn't know exactly when I was going to say holy shift. But, um, you know, kind of got out of the way early. I didn't really mean, mean to. Maybe I should have waited. I don't know. Holy shift. I'll say it as many times as I want. So the artist, artist edition, Night Shift, Stephen King. The, the case, the tray case feels very much the same as the shining tray case, which I love. So that's definitely a plus night shift. Look at that. And this is great because I don't have a copy of night shift. I read it when I was a wee lad and uh, loved it, loved it. And um, I, I've never, and that was a crappy little paperback. And when you're a little, just a jerk kid, you don't take care of things. And I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what happened to it. I know it had the die cut cover and it had all the eyes. And then when you open the page, it's a hand with eyes in it. Creepy AF, as the kids say. So this is the artist edition, the special dust jacket for the artist edition, night shift. I got to say, I think this tray case might actually be better than the one for The Shining. I don't know. It feels awesome. So, very happy with that. So, here is the, the dust jacket. I like this one um, much better than the one for the gift edition. Even though it's nice. It's the hand in the corn. The hands with the corn. The children of the corn. It's in here. You know, so the hands in the corn. 
This is a graveyard. Love it. I'm gonna take this, uh, we're gonna go step by step through this. I'm gonna take the dust jacket off. And we're gonna get a look at this baby. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice one. It's nice. It looks like it's a greenish. Is that green? I'm like colorblind. That's cool. That's really nice. So, there's the spine. Love it. Now, well, let's look at the remark. I, so this, this is the cover of the artist edition. Very cool. This is the end papers and the, this is the dust jacket for the gift edition. It's the artist edition. You gotta learn all the publishers lingos. Everybody's different lingo. And then here is the signature page with Glenn Chadborn, um, Chris Rogers, and Mark Stutzman. Those are all the artists involved with the project. And my number 34 to match my edition of The Shining. 34. 34. Now the next page is the remark. Are you ready? Oh! Wow! That's This is one of 100 copies of the Cemetery Dance Publication Special Edition of Night Shift that have been personally remarked by artist Glenn Chadbourne. Look at that. So I, I sprang for the Glenn Chadbourne remark, and this is a badass remark. That is really, really cool. I like that a lot. That is very, very cool. So there has been a discussion in the message boards about the paper quality, and there are some people that were uh, upset that this paper wasn't as high quality as the previous double day years. And I, I could see exactly what they're talking about. Um, Carrie is almost cardboard stock, the, the paper is so thick. Um, you know, there's a point where you get a little, little silly. Um, Carrie isn't silly, but it's very, very thick paper. This is, I guess, the same paper they use in, um, in their gift edition of It. And so I understand why they did that with it because it's a thousand page book. You can't do very thick, heavy paperweight to, uh, in a book that size. You have to break it up into different volumes then. Um, but for this, it was simply cost. Um, they had it priced out at a certain number with the first printer and then that printer went belly up. They had to find another printer to match the bid. So they probably had to do some trade-offs on the paper stock. So, um, in order to get it published and I, I don't mind it. I, I really don't. I was, I was maybe cause I had my expectations lowered. I was really expecting to be super disappointed. Um, but no, the paper, the paper's fine. I, I would have appreciated a heavier paper, but I, I completely understand why that wasn't the case. Thrilled to have this book finally, finally in my hands. I'm looking forward to the stand, which is the next one in the double day years and that of course will still have this sort of paper in it because again thousand pages but um you currently cannot buy one of these from the publisher you have to look on the secondary um but it's a cool one it's really cool i'm i'm a lot happier than i thought i would be because night shift um isn't up there in my brain like uh i'm not big on collections you know even when it's a single author collection it's not an anthology um, I'm not so jazzed about it, but this is such a classic King work that, um, I'm really happy to have it. So there it is. There it is. I got through it. Um, and it came in great condition and I'll do my pictures at the end. And, um, you know, if you're, if you're into it, look for it, find it. Um, I know that the stand will be going up for public pre-order. At some point, they're done shipping this, so they're going to do that one. Um, I know they've chunked it out over the, over time because I bought the stand uh, back in 2018, paid for that. So I'll be getting that in the mail when when they do that. There maybe by the end of the year, and then there's Pet Cemetery after that, which I don't have on pre-order, and I was never part of that um, pre-order process. So. The stand, so keep an eye out for it. Subscribe to Cemetery Dance and check it out. Um, they'll, I think they'll have some copies available and uh, you can get in on that. That's 
a classic king. You, that's the best king book. So you really can't pass that up if you're a king fan. So anyway, that's it. See you around next time. I don't know what next time's going to be. I don't know. Probably a Sun Tough book because Paul's got a couple coming out. He's got, uh, wow. He's got a Scanner Darkly Artist Edition. Um, the, the Heinlein Collection Editions. All kinds of stuff that I'll be happy to share with you when that happens. So, so stay warm, stay toasty, and, uh, and, and be good to each other if you, if you want. I'm really not a religious or moral leader, so you don't have to listen to me. In fact, it's probably better if you don't take your morals from me. Yeah, so you, you know how to get out of here, right? All right, I'll see you later.